Hey guys, it is Red Druka, and today I would like to go and show you what I at least believe is the, as you can probably see at the top, smallest three, um, smallest stairs from a three high ceiling to exist in Minecraft so far. Now I'm not sure exactly about that, but I'll go and get onto that later. I'll go and show you guys this first. So as you can see, it's actually decently fast, and yeah, it is 120 blocks total with the dimensions of 4x5x6, by by and yeah, there's stuff, hey look, that's today, what a surprise. Um, yeah, so I got inspired to do this after watching Mr. Uber Duck's video, which I'll go in, I don't know, I'll put it onto the screen, I guess, there, that button. Click it. Click it and be amazed. Okay, so now that that's done, I'll go and show you my first prototype, I suppose, too, because this, um, this one, I believe, is like 140. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly if the dimension, if I'm correct about the dimensions, because I cut off this area right here, right? But, as you can see, there's a stair here, but it doesn't get pushed down, so I'm not sure whether that would count to the design or not. In any case, I'm not going to include it, because either way, I fit the redstone into this area, so, yeah. I can try going showing you guys some timings. Oh, also, it needs to be a button input, but by that I just mean it needs to be a dual edge kind of thing. Well, not dual edge. It just needs to be turning on and off after an extended period of time. So even a lever works, but you just need to flick it after some time. Flick. Oh yeah, also, I just thought this was interesting. Right here, it, um, to prevent this from extending again from this dual edge area over here, I have to have this, um, unpower so the piston retracts and then extends at the right time so that this doesn't power it, because this line right here is directly coming from that torch, which is the input. I don't know, it's kind of hard for me. I mean, I made it, so it was a little bit easier to explain from my perspective, I guess. Anyways, um, yeah, this is entirely reliable. My old version right here used to be somewhat buggy, because I used this uh, half slab thing here, and it's just glitchy. Sometimes it would work, and sometimes it wouldn't. It it must be coordinate dependent, because it wasn't orientation dependent. But anyways, I suppose I will do a tutorial, because why not? Honestly, I haven't practiced making one, so... This could end up pretty badly. Why not do it, though, right? Okay, so... You're going to want to start off with your stairs. So then you just know where you're going to be doing it at. There's three stairs. Might help if I get a piston. So, from the front one, you need to go down, have uh, three on top of it, just like that. On this one, just build out like that. Come out here for them. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. Just need to build like that. Um, also, this design right here, the piston layout, that's entirely from Mr. Uberduck's video. So, like I said, check him out. Pretty, it's a really nice design. Anyways, so from here, let's go and get like one of the basic circuits laid out, or one of the basic things. Get get a little line like that. I just like to have that there. And then we can go and do the input because I just do that first. So from that piston there, I'll explain it in a moment. That piston it needs to be facing towards these pistons over here towards these pistons that will go into the middle. And at the same height as this top piston. Yeah. From there, um, put a redstone block. Go down two. Place two pieces of redstone. Before we continue any further, go like this across from it and put a torch. Like that. So that the uh, redstone block goes directly underneath it. This is your input. 
Okay, so from here, place a torch, place it again so then it's not extended. And get a repeater on four ticks like that. Over here, or actually, let me go and finish up down here. From that redstone, get a piece of redstone going right next to it, I mean from that torch. A repeater on four ticks, block, and, well, block, redstone, block. Okay, now we can go up, build up like that, take, put a repeater on from that torch, a, oh, yep, this is what I was meaning. Okay. Put a block, redstone, block, change the time to zero, and repeater again. So it kind of just zigzags up, I guess. I don't know exactly how that'd be, but loops back. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, something along that line. So now we're going to need to go like this. Put a block there so it would be able to bud this one, and redstone there so it could bud this one. Yeah. So let's go and get the budding pistons in. You're going to need pistons. I'll, well, you could use sticky pistons, I believe, but there's no point, I suppose, really. So, yeah. Okay. Now the question is, what did I do here for them? I know I'm doing... Oh, mind. This one right here just goes over. This one right here needs to be level with that piston that we're budding on the middle. This one needs to just be on top and facing the first piston that we placed. Okay, so from there, we need to get our block again. Go over here, put a one tick repeater. Go over here and get a two tick re other way around. Put a block there, a piston facing down, block, and a redstone like that. Okay, over here, you need to get redstone so it's being inputted by both. Put a piston facing down and block of redstone. Now over here, just go and get two blocks facing out and one, two. I mean, two, one. It doesn't actually matter which way. It can be either. It just needs to be two repeaters because otherwise it will power the other. It'll, it'll get powered by this redstone or something like that. So yeah. Then from there, just get a piston facing over here, so it'll activate by that redstone line. Repeater facing two, go like that, into a block. And now, we can go over here, finally get the dropper part in. So I guess let's go and get this first. Um, you want a comparator like this, and a slab, which I don't have in my inventory. Just go like that, just get a slab of your choice, because it doesn't really matter, or any kind of transparent block, and block it off on both sides, like that. Awesome, now we're almost done. So over here, you need to go and pay, place uh, two dispensers, or droppers, whatever. Dang it. Oh god, okay, here we go. I would recommend placing this one first, and then this one. Just like that, place a non... Well, actually, it doesn't matter either whether it's a stackable item or not. Just get that in there. Repeater again. Block. Now that's being powered. I believe that'll fix itself if we just... Wait, is that... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's fixable. Hold on. Let's go like this. Take the dropper. Go over here. Place the item in. Awesome, and if I'm correct, that is it? No? Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh. Heh. Yeah, that's right. This was uh, a prototype kind of that I was using for my old design. This um, little redstone block facing down thing. Not doing that anymore. Sorry, so you place... Um, <laughs> sorry for confusing you guys, if anyone was actually making that in survival. Okay, so what you do here is you actually just have the two repeaters and this repeater facing away from them, which makes a one tick pulse when it gets unpowered. So what you need to do is get a piece of redstone there on top of a half slab so that it doesn't power that. You need to, once again, sorry, you need to replace that one right there so you can 
go like this, and it'll power downwards. It's best I can really explain it, but it just goes underneath. Now that should be it. There we go. So now... Ta-da! Your own fully functioning three-high staircase. Okay, that's all for today, I believe, guys. I uh, hope I didn't get too monotone during this. I need to go and kind of fix that problem with myself. But, yeah, here's something, right? Hopefully I can get, hopefully I can go and uh, get more stuff out. But here's something for now. And because I just recently compacted it and very happy that I did so. Plus I made it more reliable. So, the win-win situation. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time, whenever that will may be, because I tend to get stuff in my way. So, goodbye guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.